At this time, we would like to welcome United States Forces Korea Commander General and Mrs. La Camera, 8th Army Commander Lieutenant General and Mrs. Burleson, Gyeonggi Province Vice Governor Oh, Pyeongtaek Mayor Chung, Azhan Vice Mayor Cho, Chonan Vice Mayor Park, former Combined Forces Command Deputy Commanding General, General Retired Choi, General Officers and Command Sergeants Majors, Korean officials, distinguished guests, family and friends of the 2nd Infantry Rock U.S. Combined Division. Today, the Warrior Division bids farewell to Major General David A. Lesperance and formally welcomes Major General William D. Taylor. During today's change of command ceremony, Major General David A. Lesperance will relinquish duties as the Warrior Division Commander to Major General Hank Taylor. Represented on the field today by their colors from left to right are the 8th Army Band led by Sergeant First Class Adam Carmody and Sergeant First Class Aladia Redenter who are providing the music for today. Headquarters and Headquarters Battalion led by Lieutenant Colonel Brian Hanrahan and Command Sergeant Major Loomis Laurinaitis. The Division Artillery Brigade led by Colonel Alexander Lee and Command Sergeant Major Patrick Whitery. The 2nd Brigade, 2nd Infantry Division led by Colonel Chad Rohrman and Command Sergeant Major Raymond Lathan. The Warrior Division Color Guard under the direction of the Division Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Kenneth R. Franco. The 16th Mechanized Infantry Brigade led by Colonel Kim ki Zhu and Command Sergeant Major Kim J. Ho. The 210 Field Artillery Brigade led by Colonel Brendan Tulin and Command Sergeant Major Artie Harold. The 2nd Infantry Division Sustainment Brigade led by Colonel Lucas Hightower and Command Sergeant Major John Jerkins. The 604th Air Support Operations Squadron led by Lieutenant Colonel Raymond Kilroy and Senior Master Sergeant Jason Tonkinson. And the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade led by Colonel Benjamin Boardman, Command Sergeant Major Dan Donald Atkins, and Chief Warrant Officer 5, Andre Kidd. The salute battery for today's ceremony is provided by Charlie Battery, 2nd Battalion, 17th Field Artillery Regiment, commanded by Captain Gabriel Velasquez. At this time, the 2023 2nd Infantry Rock U.S. Combined Division Best Warrior NCO, Staff Sergeant Nicholas Taylor, of 2-1 Infantry Battalion, 2nd Brigade, 2nd Infantry Division is presenting a bouquet of red roses to Miss Kelly Lesperance. The roses are in full bloom, which symbolizes our love and respect for her devotion and loyal support of the 2nd Infantry Rock U.S. Combined Division soldiers and their families. The 2023 2nd Infantry Rock U.S. Combined Division Best Warrior Junior Enlisted Soldier Specialist Jared Lasnick of 117 Infantry Battalion, 2nd Brigade, 2nd Infantry Division is presenting Ms. Kristen Taylor a bouquet of yellow rosebuds on behalf of the officers, non-commissioned officers, and soldiers of the division. Yellow is the color of joy and friendship and symbolizes the relationship between the division soldiers and families. Shortly, the rosebuds will blossom, as will the friendships that will bloom during Ms. Taylor's time with the division. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the invocation delivered by the Warrior Division Chaplain, Lieutenant Colonel Britton Price. Let us pray. Gracious Father in heaven, we gather this morning to celebrate the Warrior Division and the successful completion of command by Major General Lesperance. I thank you for his leadership, devotion to duty, and caring concern, not only for his soldiers, but also for his stewardship of the division's legacy. I thank you for your abiding presence that gave wisdom and discernment to him through many challenges faced and overcome, especially during the pandemic. You sustained him throughout his command, and I ask that you continue to be with him and his wife as they transition to their next assignment. The successes of the last two years are a reminder that you, Heavenly Father, do answer prayer. So I ask that you give that same wisdom and discernment to Major General Taylor as he assumes the position of Warrior Six and the burden of command comes to rest on his shoulders. Strengthen him for the task at hand to defend freedom and deter aggression in the land of the morning calm. I ask that you enable his staff and subordinate commands 
to ease that burden by our work and devotion so that this division can continue to uphold its motto of second to none and successfully fight tonight. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the left side of the formation. There you will see the adjutant, Lieutenant Colonel Tiffany Hines, who will initiate the ceremony with sound attention.
At this time, the commander of troops for today's ceremony, Colonel Wade German, the division chief of staff, will take his place on the field with the division staff, which includes Lieutenant Colonel Tiffany Hines, C1, Lieutenant Colonel Lee Woo Kyun, C2, Lieutenant Colonel Chris Choi, C3, Lieutenant Colonel Danilo Green, C4, Lieutenant Colonel Kim Jin Woo, C5, and Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Taylor, C6. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the presentation of honors. As a reminder, as the band plays honors, all military personnel will render a hand salute. The official party consists of Lieutenant General Willard M. Burleson, the 8th Army Commanding General, Major General David A. Lesbrance, Commander, 2nd Infantry, Rock U.S. Combined Division, and Major General Hank Taylor, incoming 2nd Infantry, Rock U.S. Combined Division Commander. For today's ceremony, Lieutenant General Burleson has deferred honors to Major General Les Browns. At this time, Captain Gabriel Velasquez of Charlie Battery, 2nd Battalion, 17th Field Artillery Regiment, is presenting Major General Les Browns with a salute casing from today's Salute Battery Honors. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, the official party will now take the field to conduct inspection of troops. The 2nd Infantry Division is one of the most decorated divisions in the United States Army. It boasts 40 Medal of Honor recipients and over 20 campaign participation streamers. The 2nd Infantry Division was organized on 26 October 1917 in France. During World War I, the 2nd Infantry Division fought at the Battle of Belleau Wood and shattered the four-year stalemate during the Chateau Terry campaign that followed. The Indian Head Division emerged from World War I as the most decorated American division. 
With the onset of World War II, the division moved to Ireland in October 1943 for Operation Overlord. On 7 June 1944, the division landed on Omaha Beach. Attacking across the Aura River, the division liberated Treviers and proceeded to assault and secure Hill 192. Exploiting the St. Lowe breakthrough, the 2nd Infantry Division advanced across the Veer to take Tickenbrae. During the Battle of the Bulge, from positions around St. Fifth, the division prevented the enemy from seizing key roads, leading to the Liege and Antwerp. The division arrived in Korea via Busan on 23 July 1950. The Warrior Division was the first unit to break out of the Busan perimeter and led the 8th Army's drive to the Manchurian border. The 2nd Infantry Division was awarded the Republic of Korea Presidential Unit Citation on 29 September 1950 for the defense of the Nakdong River Line. In 1951, the division fought at the Valley of Chipyongni with an attached French battalion. Surrounded by four Chinese divisions for over three days, elements of the division and 1st ROC Division killed over 5,000 enemy, causing Chinese forces to withdraw. The Battle of the Chip Chipyongni was the first major defeat for the Chinese and the turning point of Korean War. In April and May 1951, the Second Infantry Division was instrumental in smashing the Communist Spring Offensive as they fought for hilltops in the tri Iron Triangle. The Second Infantry Division emerged as the most decorated division from the Korean War. On 1 July 1965, the division returned to the Republic of Korea. The Second Infantry Division was assigned to guard the demilitarized zone and help deter war on the peninsula. North Korean forces engaged in increased border incursions and 2nd Infantry Division was called upon to help. Throughout the 1980s and early 1990s, soldiers of the 2nd Infantry Division continued to patrol along the DMZ. In November 2003, in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, the 2nd Infantry Division deployed elements from Fort Lewis and in August 2004, the division made history by deploying to Iraq from the Republic of Korea where it worked alongside ROC soldiers just as it had in Korea. Soldiers from the 2nd Infantry Division continue to answer the call in support of the global war on terrorism. The 2nd Infantry Division is the last permanently forward stationed division in the United States Army. As part of the ROC US Alliance, the division is spread out across the world. The 2nd Infantry Division's mission is to deter aggression, and if deterrence fails, ensure it is ready to fight tonight. Forged during the Korean War, the ROC US Alliance is an equal partnership committed to the defense of Korea. On 3 June 2015, the ROC US Combined Division was activated in order to improve combined operations. The ROC 16th Mechanized Brigade partner with the warriors of the 2nd Infantry ROC US Combined Division stand ready to fight tonight. You are now seeing a movement known as Color Center March. 
This activity stems from early Roman days when the leaders laid down their weapons and shields and came forward to their emperor. By doing so, the leader signified to the emperor that the officers of their command were loyal to him. In early American cavalry tradition, it was used to give troops special instructions prior to going into battle. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthems of the Republic of Korea and the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the official party will take the field to conduct the passing of the Warrior Division colors. The colors represent not only the unit, but also the unity and loyalty of its soldiers. They are the commander's symbol of authority, representing his responsibilities to the organization. 
The change of command ceremony is a military ceremony that is rich with symbolism and heritage dating back to medieval times. Soldiers often carried staffs or standards into battle that identified themselves as a unit. Throughout military history, unit colors have marked the position of the commander on the battlefield and served as a rallying point. Whether attacking or rallying, soldiers would follow the standard or guidons of their leader, most often found at the forward edge of the battle. In more recent times, the colors represent not only the heritage and history of the unit, but also the unity and loyalty of its soldiers. The colors are the commander's symbol of authority, representing his responsibilities to the organization. Wherever the commander is, the colors are there as well. The passing of the unit colors represent the transfer of authority and responsibility from one commander to another. The command sergeant major is the keeper of the colors. As the senior enlisted soldier in the unit, he is the spokesman for both the loyalty and the concerns of the soldiers and is the principal advisor to the commander. The passing of the colors from Command Sergeant Major Franco to Major General Lesperance signifies his last act of allegiance to him. Major General Lesperance passes the colors to Lieutenant General Burleson, signifying that the unit is never without officer leadership. The passing of the colors from Lieutenant General Burleson to Major General Taylor signifies the passing of his trust and also the responsibility for the unit and its soldiers. In accordance with AR 600-20, Paragraph 2-5, the undersigned assumes command of the 2nd Infantry Rock U.S. Combined Division, effective 16 May 2023. Signed, Major General Hank Taylor. Major General Hank Taylor passes the color to Command Sergeant Major Franker, Franco as the keeper of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant General Willard M. Burleson, 8th Army Commanding General. Okay, uh, well, good morning. Uh, and a warm welcome to our distinguished guests, General and Mrs. LaCamera, uh, Mayor Jung, Vice Governor Ho, uh, as well as all of our fellow general officers, commanders, command sergeant majors, as well as good neighbors. My sincere thanks to everyone this morning as we celebrate the warriors of the 2nd Infantry Division and the great service of Dave and Kelly Lesperance these past two years and the return of familiar faces of Hank and Kristen Taylor. So to the assembled soldiers on the parade field, I want you to take 30 seconds. Shake it out. Come on, wipe that sweat off your face. Shake it out a little bit. We only got a little bit left. This is the only chance you're going to get. Band, YouTube. Cot, come on, you can do it. Okay. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, so all of you out on the field, you look really fantastic, and, and you represent the high standards and discipline that the 2nd Infantry Division displays every day. Thank you for upholding our traditions this morning. A special thanks to the 8th Army Band. You keep us connected to our Army traditions every day, and... Quite frankly, you're probably one of the most sought after resources in the Rock US Alliance. Uh, everybody, please join me in a round of applause for everybody out here today. <laughs> so this division has a rich history over the last 105 years, from the battlefields of Bella Wood and every remaining engagement of the First World War, through Omaha Beach at Normandy and across the Rhine in the Second World War. And of course, to the defense of the Noktong River and the first victory at Chip Yong Ni in the Korean War. The 2nd Infantry Division has been at the center of the U.S. Army contribution to this great alliance. Today's warrior, our warriors are a great team, and great teams require great leadership. We're here today to recognize Dave Lesperance's outstanding leadership to the team for the last two years. But we're also here to welcome Hank Taylor as he takes ownership of that same responsibility. Dave, you've had a mission unlike any other division commander in our Army. 
you commanded the only permanently forward station division in the U.S. Army, a combined division, and this division staff, this combined division staff, can do things no other division in our Army can. The 2nd Infantry Division combined teams receives and integrates rotational forces on a regular basis, and your individual through collective training, it's not just training. What you do every single day is rehearse. You rehearse your wartime missions. Your combined joint live fires and combined Apache gunnery training events built readiness across our ROC US alliance. You've established a foundation of readiness in division based on values, standards, character, and compassion. You fostered an environment where leaders and soldiers can flourish. You've supported soldiers, civilians, and family members through your emphasis on essential programs. And you're always an advocate for those arriving to Korea and their experiencing here. And you've made a lasting contribution to our sponsorship and reception programs. Your impact has left a lasting and positive impact on the Warrior Division, but it has also extended well beyond the boundaries of the division into the community. My special thanks to you, Kelly. Kelly, thank you all for that you've done on behalf of our warrior families and our communities. But also thank you for your years of support that provided Dave and allowed him the opportunity to continue to serve in the such positions of responsibilities. Thankfully, Dave is not moving very far away. To the great benefit of everyone here, he will continue to serve the Alliance as the next Director of Operations for Combined Forces Command, U.S. Forces Command, and United Nations Command. Job well done, Dave, and I look forward to seeing you at the O&I in about two hours, as well as CP Tango. A round of applause for Dave Westmans. Now, just a quick welcome to Major General Hank Taylor and his wife, Kristen, and also their family watching on Facebook. The Taylors are no stranger to Korea and the 2nd Infantry Division. A former commander of the 2nd, Aviation, 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade and also Chief of Staff of 8th Army, Hank most recently served as our U.S. Army's lead for all things aviation. I can't think of a better way to break out of the Pentagon, Hank, than to return to the land of the morning calm and lead the great warrior divisions. Congratulations. As you've heard, the division has an exceptional history, and it's at the center of the U.S. Army's contribution to the ROC U.S. Alliance. It's a great team. You're inheriting a strong organization with a strong foundation, and I look forward to what you build next with these great warriors. To close, the leaders and soldiers you see here before you represent the very best of the United States and the Republic of Korea. They are part of a proud lineage of soldiers who've come before them, fighting for peace, security, and prosperity for our two proud nations. You can certainly count on them to fight tonight, Pacific victors. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the outgoing commander of the Warrior Division, Major General David A. Les Browns. General and Mrs. LeCamera, Lieutenant General and Mrs. Burleson, distinguished guests, families, friends, and fellow warriors of the 2nd Infantry Division combined, thank you for joining us today. Good morning and welcome. Please give another round of applause for the 8th Army Band and the Salute Battery from 217 Field Artillery. N there's not a brigade commander on the planet that doesn't fear having to salute battery at a division change of command. So, Chad, well done. You survived that, that test. To our Rock Army partners and Korean friends of the division, thank you for your unwavering support to the soldiers and families of this combined division. For over six decades, your kindness and generosity have sustained us in warrior country, and we would not be as ready to fight tonight without your support. We are honored to call Korea our home. Thank you for coming today. We sincerely appreciate your friendship and continued support. Most importantly, I want to thank the proud professional service members of the division, including U.S. Air Force and ROC Army units standing before us today. Each of you are key members of the combined division team, sharing the camaraderie that makes us warriors, and representing all service members who have gone before us and served today as members of this historic division.
The transition of leadership uh, you've observed is a time-honored uh, tradition signified all soldiers that there has been a change in leadership at the divisional level. And for all soldiers and leaders to know who their new leader is. Major General Hank Taylor is no stranger to 2ID, having previously served as Talent 6. He is the right leader at the right time for this division. Hank and Kristen, welcome back to Korea and this wonderful division. For the leaders and soldiers on the field, you matter. Since 1917, the 2nd Infantry Division has helped win our nation's wars, and for the last eight years, the 2nd Infantry Division combined has been the advance guard of the Rock U.S. Alliance. I can't say enough about the incredibly cohesive teams in front of us today. They are innovative, they're creative, and they generate foundational combined readiness every day. Two Tim Field Artillery Brigade Thunder is the only U.S. Field Artillery Brigade in the Republic of Korea. Forward deployed, Thunder has an incredible responsibility providing immediate ready forces supporting United States Forces Korea and Combined Forces Command and a combined ground component command. In true fight tonight fashion, over the last 18 months, Thunder has executed a number of bilateral response options to deter North Korean aggression, setting the standard for how units should prepare for and be ready for combat. The Second Combat Aviation Brigade, Talon, is an incredibly lethal maneuver formation in the division and serves as the division's advance guard in the sky, conducting division reconnaissance, area security, direct fire, and movement of soldiers and other logistics requirements. 2CAB is always ready to answer the call to fight tonight, and they always deliver. This division could not move without the hard work of the Secondary Infantry Division Sustainment Brigade champions for their absolute professionalism. This division lives on fuel, food, water, ammunition, repair parts, and more fuel. We will never have enough fuel, champions. You will always keep us on the right side of that thin line between order and disorder. Well done. 2ID Devardi is a pivotal piece of the Warrior Division. Team Strike enables this division to fight tonight through integration and synchronization of multi-domain lethal and non-lethal effects, along with the division's headquarters and our supporting air support operations squadron. These service members demonstrate the future really is now. 2nd Brigade Combat Team, 2nd Infantry Division Lancer, sees new high ground during their historic rotation. From supporting the expert soldier, infantry soldier, and medic badge competitions, combined maneuver training exercises, platoon and company live fires, the Lancer Brigade, with their can-do attitude, generated and sustained fight tonight readiness, maximizing every training opportunity. Lancer demonstrated you can generate readiness on the peninsula and sets the example for future Korean rotational forces moving forward. I couldn't be prouder of your teamwork. Our most, lethal, our most lethal ground maneuver brigade, the 16th Mechanized Infantry Brigade, Blitz, proudly joins us today on the field. We fight with this magnificent brigade during conflict. The Blitz Brigade provides us an opportunity to develop interoperability best practices through tough, realistic, combined training we regularly conduct together. Blitz is the finest training partner any division could ask for. Hank and Kristen, I am confident you are already vested in the spirit of Kachi Kapsi Da. It is the essence of everything we do in the Warrior Division. I know you'll be superb ambassadors for the division and will continue to build on the outstanding relationships we have with the leaders and citizens in our local communities. To all the warriors, I want you to always remember your personal efforts contribute directly to the stability and prosperity here in the Republic of Korea. I thank you for your service. Our division, our nation, and our alliance could not be better served. Kelly, you have been my best friend, confidant, and rock for whom our family stands upon. Your kindness and, kindness and patience with me during these past two years have been unwavering. You put your heart into this division, ensuring we're all, welcome, all we're welcomed with open arms. I appreciate your dedication, not only to the combined division family, but to our family. I love you. May God bless you. May God bless your families and, and the Iraq U.S. Alliance. Second to none, fight tonight. Gotcha, gotcha, da. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 2nd Infantry Iraq U.S. Combined Division, Major General Hank T. Hiller. Hashimika, Irun Boon, Taylor, Imnida, Sojong. Hello to everyone, and I thank all of our distinguished guests here today. Thank you for your attendance, and most importantly, 
thank you for your support for the Warriors and the families here in the division. Kristen and I are so honored to be back in Korea and specifically as part of the 2nd Infantry ROC U.S. Combined Division. Serving in Korea as a part of the greatest alliance in the world is truly an amazing opportunity for all of us. We have a real mission that brings us all together with a common purpose for good. As I pondered on the storied history of the division, I couldn't help but think about the many battles we have fought and honors we have uh, earned over the years, as mentioned by PB6. I'm honored to be the 87th Division Commander, and I'm committed to serve shoulder to shoulder with all of you once again. To everyone who made this uh, ceremony possible, Chris and I thank you all very much. The 8th Army Band has a special place in my heart. You sounded great. Your history of inspiring troops on the battlefield continues here today. I'd ask you all as you look out onto the field and look at these great warriors in these formations, I know Dave Lesbronce and the team has made sure that they are ready to fight and win tonight. A special thanks to our Air Force team and our 16th Rock Mech Infantry Brigade, as Dave said, it does truly make this division special. And another great example of what the combined division can do for the U.S. and Rock Alliance. I'd really like to thank Dave and Kelly Lesperance uh, for the warm welcome and all the great teamwork that you offered Chris and I over the last few months. As you know, the, the last uh, 72 hours has been uh, pushing it to the wheel, to the limit. But I want to thank you uh, for you and General Burleson and family for making it such a great welcome. Uh, I want you to know how much that means to us. The division is extremely well trained and a strong team because of your combined Les Bronze leadership. Thanks again and best of luck up at the J3. To the warriors on the field, our mission is clear and it is real. We must continue to do all those critical tasks as a team to ensure we're strong and we're ready to fight tonight, but more importantly, we're ready to win tonight. Come some hamni da, kapshi kapshi da. This last procedure and the most traditional part of the ceremony is the pass and review. From the earliest times, the pass and review has demonstrated the glory and strength of the assembled troops.
Passing before you now are the proud soldiers of the 2nd Infantry Division. The commander of troops today is Colonel Wei German. He is followed by the division staff officers consisting of the C-1 personnel officer, Lieutenant Colonel Tiffany Hines, the C-2 intelligence officer, Lieutenant Colonel Lee, Lute Lieutenant Colonel Lee Wu Kyun, the C-3 operations officer, Lieutenant Colonel Chris Choi, the C-4 logistics officer, Lieutenant Colonel Danilo Green, the C-5 plans officer, Lieutenant Colonel Kim Jin Wu, and the C-6 communications officer, Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Taylor. Approaching the reviewing stand is the Headquarters and Headquarters Battalion, commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Brian Hanrahan. The Command Sergeant Major is Command Sergeant Major Loomis Laurinaitis. Approaching the reviewing stand is the Division Artillery Brigade, commanded by Colonel Alexander Lee. The Command Sergeant Major is Command Sergeant Major Patrick Whitetree. Approaching the reviewing stand is 2nd Striker Brigade Combat Team, commanded by Colonel Chad Rohrman. The Command Sergeant Major is Command Sergeant Major Raymond Lathan. Please stand and render honors to the national colors. Passing before you are the Republic of Korea and our nation's colors and the 2nd Infantry Division colors. The color guard is led by Division Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Kenneth Franco. You may be seated. Approaching the reviewing stand is the 16th Mechanized Infantry Brigade, commanded by Colonel Kim Kisu. The Command Sergeant Major is Command Sergeant Major Kim Jae Ho. Approaching the reviewing stand is 210 Field Artillery Brigade, commanded by Colonel Brendan Tulin. The Command Sergeant Major is Command Sergeant Major Artie Harold. Approaching the reviewing stand is 2nd Infantry Division Sustainment Brigade, commanded by Colonel Lucas Hightower. The Command Sergeant Major is Command Sergeant Major John Jerkins. Approaching the reviewing stand is the 604th Air Support Operations Squadron, commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Raymond Kilroy. The senior enlisted advisor is Senior Master Sergeant Jason Tonkinson. Approaching the reviewing stand is the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade, commanded by Colonel Benjamin Boardman, Command Sergeant Major Donald Atkins, and Chief Warrant Officer 5 Andre Kidd. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join us in the singing of the Warrior March and the Army Song. The words are found in the back of the program.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the Warrior Division Change of Command Ceremony. Major General Les Browns will remain in front of the reviewing stand for those who wish to bid him farewell. Please join Major General Taylor for a reception adjacent to, the, to Robertson Field in the reception tents. Second to none, fight tonight.